Hello and welcome to the video review of Transformers Reveal the Shield Voyager Lugnut. Now this was a figure that I have been looking forward to for a long time. Uh, I almost actually bought him from, uh, well, from the internet for a lot more money than I ended up paying for him. But, eh, you know what? I've got him now and I am happy with him. This is his robot mode. He is packaged in robot mode, so that is where we are going to start. He has a, uh, a gimmick in this mode. Actually, he's got a couple gimmicks. His first gimmick being, well, kind of silly. Uh, you pull that back part out, and then you deploy a giant gun. And the missile fires, but I'm not going to do that right now. I don't like that. I do not care for that gimmick whatsoever. I think it is stupid. The other gimmick I do like. It is a little, cute little gimmick. By pushing this tab, he gets a punch. Very similar to his uh, Transformers animated figure. The punch. I'm sorry, not his figure, but his cartoon, uh, his cartoon persona. The mono eye really works for him, and his color scheme is that of a, of a bomber. I, I absolutely love the color on this figure. I think the United figure is going to have a better color scheme, but I really dig this guy. I just think he looks cool. He looks menacing. He can open his mouth ever so little. It's great to see a Transformers animated figure getting a classic slash reveal the sleep, reveal the shield, slash hunt for this Decepticon treatment. Uh, Hasbro's really hitting it out of the park with some of these Voyager figures. There is one fatal flaw to this figure, though. And that is, he's top-heavy, and his um, ankles have issues. Specifically, these ankles, because of the transformation, swivel forward. Well, there's nothing locking them into place, so if you've got him posed in a certain way, he's just going to fall flat on his face, as you just saw. Other than that, though, I have nothing to complain about with this guy. I have nothing whatsoever. His transformation is a little bit tricky, which I'm gonna sh I wanted to go from robot to vehicle to show you that transformation because that there's a couple of steps in there that aren't in the directions. Don't ask me why. But other than that, his posability is quite nice. He's got ratcheting up here, he's got swiveling on his or ratcheting shoulders, swiveling upper arms. Nine, bends 90 degrees. Unfortunately, his hands have very little articulation because of the nature of his transformation, but it's good enough. Legs have plenty of articulation, uh, typical articulation, I should say. He's got a double-jointed knee, but that's because of the transformation. He just looks good in robot mode. He looks very good in robot mode. Oh, and he's got torso articulation. I forgot to mention about that. He just looks very good in robot mode. I, I really love him. I really think he looks good. I wish he had a weapon, but his arms really can't hold on to any weapons. I'm sure there's some aftermarket sword I could find somewhere that would be perfectly fine for him. So, enough about that. Let's go ahead and get him transformed. Let's start off with the arms, which I think are really interesting. We're going to start by taking the arm, the whole arm assembly, and rotating it 180 degrees. Then there's a flap under underneath his arm that folds up to form the rear flap. Next thing we're going to do is actually take his fingers and open his hand up all the way. Then we'll rotate the entirety of his arm or of his hand back and fold out the edge of the wing. And that doesn't so much snap into place as the thumb or his his part of his claw, the thumb part of his claw holds down the wing, and then the reveal the shield is actually on his left arm. Then the entirety of his fingers, the top fingers, rotate fully around and lock into place, and it just creates a really cool looking wing. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. Well, that's one thing I forgot to mention. His, uh, his leg joints are a little loose. So we'll do the same thing on this side. Everything holds together really well, which I've got to admit, I really am thankful for. I'm flying. 
This is where things get a little bit crazy. Uh, I'm not going to lie, this transformation is a little nuts. You're going to take this whole rear wing assembly and pull it as far out as you can. Now when I originally got the figure, it only came out to be about that far. You really have to yank it out there so that there's just a little bit of plastic hole showing. Uh, the reason is because that'll pull the, the face forward and allow you to pull the entire chest piece down. When you do that, you can then come in and take the cockpit and fold that down and take the entire back of the figure and fold that around as well. Oh, I forgot to mention, the whole arm assembly is on a, is on a swing arm that you have to kind of finagle back here and clip that into place. Once you do that, you can then take this and actually you just gotta, gotta get it in there to form the rear fuselage of the figure. That took a while to get working on my figure. Oh yeah, let me rotate the tail wing around. Uh, the reason was simply because the directions did not state how far you had to pull it, and I thought I was gonna break the damn thing. In fact, you are gonna feel like you're gonna break it, but just give it a yank, it'll be fine. And here you have kind of a gerwalk mode, or if you deploy the arms, you'll have a, your telltale gerwalk mode. All right, thing with the legs you got to realize is put them, have them pointing out doing a split, and then take the entire leg and rotate it 180 degrees around. This is very important. If you don't do this, you're not going to be able to form the rear of the plane, or the bottom of the plane. It just won't work. Once you do that, You'll then take the feet and fold the feet up, collapsing them into kind of a claw. And then what you'll do is you'll actually take the entire rear of the leg and open it up. And as you can see, this will form the bottom of the plane. Then rotate it around. And you can actually combine these right now. You just got to get them lined up and then take the entire section, collapse it and collapse it down and just get it lined up. And there we go. We have the bottom of the plane all ready to go. And then I like to just get the wings. I like to actually put the wings up just a little bit. I want to be careful of that little button. That's a hair trigger right there. And there we have Lugnut in vehicle mode. And what a vehicle mode it is. Uh, I absolutely adore this plane mode. I think it looks fantastic. And just, I love this figure. I think this is a great figure. If he had come out in 2010, he would have been part of my, uh, he would be part of my, 2010 uh, best of list for I think he's going on my best of 2011 list but I absolutely love this guy love this guy to death I think he's a great figure he does have a few issues um, in this mode the wings don't like to stay up all the way over time they'll just droop down oh well uh, the tail wing it's just very floppy the missile likes to shoot itself off in this mode Especially if you're just if you just tap this, it's a hair trigger. Other than that, this is a great figure. I mean, this is a great figure. I mean, the gun the guns move. I mean, that's so awesome. I, this is just a wonderful, wonderful figure. Uh, it's yeah, it's got a little bit of uh, issues in robot mode, but it's just I love this guy. I think he's great. He's great in both modes. The transformation, once you figure it out, is really satisfying. He looks great on the shelf in both modes. It, this is an absolute buy. Just forget what I'm saying. Just go out and get him. You'll be happy. I know you will. He's a great figure, and really Hasbro and Takara really outdid themselves with this one.